my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new or you've never seen me before, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about the July 20th, 2020 new moon that's happening in the sign of Cancer, roughly around 1.33, 1.32, 1.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, if you've been a part of my family unit here on Instagram and YouTube, on all social media platforms really, you are probably sick and tired of hearing me say this, but there's so much, there's so much going on in our lives in the world. And the reason why is because there's so much going on in the planets. What goes on up there impacts us down here as above so below so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the details on what is happening so that you understand but I'm also giving gonna give you the tools and the resources to not only help you to understand it but know how to understand it in and out so you can make this energy work for you and not against you that's a big thing about Bahati life that's a big thing about my motto is that if you understand something in and out, it can become your best friend and not your worst enemy. So I have the chart pulled up in front of me. I have some cards pulled up here on my right, and I have a few tiny notes of like dates and details and things that is I don't wanna miss. And with that, I'm gonna give you everything. But before we dive into that, I do wanna give a quick shout out to this video's sponsorship. Now, Bahati Vibe Tribe, I know you guys know that I am very picky, I'm very particular about the sponsorships that, is that I allow into our circle, our tribe, our community. If it doesn't pass my inspection, then it doesn't, it's no fly zone. But Cozy Earth was a company and a brand that stood out to me because of the high quality um, products that they have from their loungewear to their bedding, etc., etc., that they are providing that are organic, that are sustainable, and the list goes on and on and super, super soft. They they did send me this um, lounge top and the lounge bottoms, which you can't tell, but they are legit the softest things. I was waiting for them to show up in the, the package that, is that they sent. They gave me the option to choose whatever I wanted, so shout out to you guys because, of course, I chose all black but I was waiting for, for the package to show up. As soon as it did, I threw it into the wash because I wanted to put it on, and it is truly the softest, softest material so far. Um, also, shout out to Oprah Winfrey because she also um, sponsors and loves this brand as well, so I just feel like, you know what, it's, it's quality, quality. The prices are, I will say, a little high, like a little bit on a price point, but the quality makes sense. But they were kind enough, they were really generous enough to give us all a coupon code, which I will also be using, because I'm gonna get some sheets and some bedding, definitely. It's Bahati Life 50. So Bahati Life is the name of my YouTube channel, so you can see the title somewhere on my YouTube channel. Um, so B-E-H-A-T-I-L-I-F-E, the number 50 for 50% 50 off anything that is that you decide to buy and purchase on their website. Don't buy it full price if you can help it. I'm a Virgo, you guys know this, um, and if you don't know, now you know, but I'm all about a good deal. I don't like spending things full price, especially if I don't have to, but I will if it's quality, and this is something that I would spend definitely full price for but you don't have to and neither do I. So go ahead and you know check out those links down below in my description box. Not only do I have their website up, but I'll link also the, the items that it is that I'm wearing currently right now and also the coupon code so you can go ahead and plug it in and use it anywhere on the website, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and and dive in because it it is a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> It's not necessarily a bad thing because I, sometimes I feel like I'll say that and you guys start panicking. It's not a bad thing. It's just a lot that you need to know and understand because there's a lot of things that can get triggered. Now, as you know, there's the new moon that's happening, the sign of cancer, right? So cancer is all about our feelings, our need to be nurtured, our need to be supported, our need to be have stability, our need to have predictability, but it's also about pulling from your emotions so that you can be a leader for yourself and from others. Can and for others. Cancer is a cardinal sign. So a lot of people dog and drag the energy of cancer. But cancer is a leader in its own in its own within within the zodiac chart. And 
how it pulls its energy is it pulls from a space of its feelings, not from fire, not from material, you know, um, possessions or material desires. It pulls it from its feelings. And there is no, no feeling, I believe, there's nothing more strong than a person who is upset, than a person who is in love. A person who is happy or excited you can use those energies in order to make the impossible happen because the sheer force of your emotion alone is unfuckwithable pardon me for my like pardon my French but for real so that's what we're working with at the time of this new moon I'm noticing that as I'm pulling the charts the last six months it's part of it is the eclipse, but it's not not every chart of the new moon or full moon has been an eclipse Especially the new moons because that's what I'm talking about specifically here is that it's almost as if these new moon spaces Norm they're, they're very emotionally triggering. They have been very emotionally triggering for the last seven to six months I've noticed that as I've been pulling the chart now Notoriously, you can use the new moon in order to set intention for new beginning. That's a, a huge chunk of the population uses the new moon to, to set intention for new things, new energy, things that they are trying to initiate within their life. You could do the same thing for the full moon. I actually use both of them. I don't apply myself and my magic to any rules or my intention to any rules. I follow my vibes always. So... I'm just saying that for for clarity but also when, when it comes to this new moon new moons are not known for triggering emotion on such a deep level but lately they really have been like I said in the very beginning of this video part of this is because these eclipses that have been happening have been stro so strong and so powerful but more than that what I'm what I'm noticing what I'm acknowledging is all of the planets all together are in such peculiar placements that are triggering major breakdowns of the world that we know it how like the things that give us stability and structure within our lives that make us feel safe that make us feel provided for part of this is because I'm a broken record but Saturn Pluto Jupiter Neptune retrograde these are these major game ch changing planets that break the break down the ground that we want to root ourselves in the reason why it's breaking down is because it wouldn't work in the long haul or it's maybe worked for so many years to serve a specific person or to oh so I that slipped out of my mouth maybe it served a specific person but maybe it all I was going to I was trying to say that it served a specific person purpose but I keep wanting to say person so I don't know if that's a message for someone or a message for our globe but that's what just came out with this new moon though I will tell you how to work with it but I want to explain the energy first the new moon is happening in the sign of cancer the, the moon and the sun are conjoined meaning they're sitting right on top of each other at the last degrees of cancer directly opposite of that you guys directly almost actually perfectly directly opposite opposing this is Saturn Saturn retrograde right now Saturn has now moved back in, into the sign of Capricorn Pluto is also retrograde really close to this Jupiter is also retrograde in the sign of cancer I'm sorry in the sign of Capricorn really close to these energies and they are opposing opposing each other so this energy what this is telling me and what this is creating is these memories I don't want to call them issues but these dilemmas these conflicts that you that are not brand new to you I understand that there's a lot of you guys who are wanting to escape because you are doing all that you can in order to to remove to cancel out generational curses to heal yourself to take these huge leaps um, that you know that you are ready for that you've been preparing for and it feels as though all of these obstacles are coming stepping through and saying wait you're not ready yet there's more and the reason why that is it's not that you're being punished it's not that you're being penalized it's not that you're not doing enough it's the fact that the universe is very very thorough and when these planets go retrograde there are certain aspects of your life or certain things that you're setting intention for that 
of course they could grow of course they could manifest or materialize but if they were to materialize just as they are they would not be as functional as strong or have the ability to thrive if these issues that are plaguing you that have been lying dormant if they don't get addressed if they don't get dealt with this has everything to do with emotional spiritual mental physical maturity this has nothing to do with age it has or experience it has everything to do with your ability to be radically changed while you're here on earth it's a um the universe is really guiding every single one of us to be super flexible and open with where we're at right now in fact it was a year ago a year and some change ago that i said if you are not going if you're not flexible you will be you will suffer and i stand by that that was a year and a half ago before all of this you know madness started or chaos started revealing itself and i stand by it still to this day that if you are not able to be flexible and if you're not able to flow with this energy and you fight it you will be the first one to suffer and your suffering will be more painful than it needs to be okay so that's something that it is that i'm seeing here and i want to come out with that hard punch really quickly that hard punch of truth because that's what it is that i'm seeing within the chart and again, well, I'll, I'll tell you how, it's not all doom and gloom here. I'll tell you how to work with this. But sad, um, uh, uh, the, the new moon happening in the last signs of cancer, anytime when we see planets migrating towards the very end of a sign and an event happening at that, at that point, like a new moon or a full moon, it really will work to reveal issues of our family, of our home, of our self-worth, of our self-identity of our feelings of am i being nur nurtured am i being nourished am i do i actually have the ability to thrive or will i try to thrive while also simultaneously being crippled mentally physically emotionally spiritually in all of these ways okay so and the universe says we see that this is broken and we're not going to avoid or ignore the fact that there's a broken wing here I'm going to slow the entire world down to give you the opportunity to address and to fix this lingering plaguing doubt or issue or violation or isolation that you've been dealing with that's been so prolonged. This is not here to punish you or to penalize you, but to help you to grow, to promote you, to support you, to lift you up. So I want to start off by saying that, that this energy with this new moon you know, it can, it really can trigger some feelings, some really deep set feelings within you and make you feel very, very vulnerable. There's 50, 50 of you guys are going to embrace this. I feel like for my earth, for my earth signs and for my water signs, you guys are going to do way a better job dealing with that, dealing with this energy water more so than others. But then also you have to balance it out as best as you can because you can water signs you can you guys can drown in your own ocean let's be honest i'm gonna be honest with you guys always and forever you guys would be the first one to drown in your own ocean but so you have to be very careful with um you know grounding yourself and and balance and moderation as much as possible and finding what works for you and applying that without judging yourself without judging others or getting frustrated with your progress maybe you feel like you could be 15 years ahead like if you if things were different you would have advanced or maybe you feel like you're not doing enough or whatever that your issue is you know be easy on yourself have compassion for yourself and also realize that the whole world right now is awakening and every single one of us are factored into this so we have to be compassionate and kind and and considerate and understanding with ourselves during this time so like i was saying you know these planets are currently retrograde um saturn pluto Jupiter, Neptune, they are revealing to you certain illusions, certain fantasies, certain beliefs that you've been holding on to that are not real, that are like conceptions, and they want to provide to you a new vision, a new earth, a new prophecy for your life. When that happens, and you're kind of forced to kind of submit to that, because that's how the universe works, is that it, it's not that it's working to dominate you, but it will put you at the right place at the right time for you to receive the most. 
So when it does that and it aligns you to receive the most and you feel the crushing weight of what that can be like sometimes on your emotions or on your head or in your conversations with your friends or your opportunities, it feels like you're hitting these, these brick walls. Um, instead of fighting it, allow yourself to be open to receiving it. You would, you're gonna get, you're gonna do more, receive more, be more, experience more by not trying to do it all on your own. Okay, this is that, that, that mindset that sometimes it is best and it is wise and you will actually get more by doing less. And our brains have a hard time with that. That's that same, that same concept in a lot of societies that you have to work, 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 work in order for you to gain, 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 gain. But you wear yourself down, you stress yourself out, you stretch yourself thin, and it's not conducive to anything when you could actually like, the more creative you get, the more innovative you get, the more inspired you get, the more open you are, the more ideas, the more profit, the more abundance, material, emotional, spiritual, physical abundance pours into your life. So what you wanna do is you want to allow yourself to receive that. You wanna allow yourself to work with the work with the universe, not fight against it. How do you do that? Some of you guys are really asking, how do you do that? Well, it's different per person. Every What you wanna do is you wanna check your moon sign. And your moon sign shows you how you can best be nurtured and nourished during this time or any time throughout your life, but definitely during this time. And what this will show you is that this is how you can best fill yourself up. And the more that you are being filled by checking your moon sign, by checking your needs, your emotional needs, the more that you'll be able to actually work with the energy of this new moon. Because this new moon is so special, it's so unique. We've had the eclipses, absolutely. They've created their own game-changing events that are external events that happened around us or maybe inside of us. But it's this, this, this new moon which is really planting the seed for you in order for you to make such a powerful demonstration of your faith, of your a prophecy that is that you have, a vision that is that you have for your life, that you see for this world, for your relationships, whatever. And you are going to step into your power, but you cannot do that if you are empty. Everything within this chart is reminding you to fill yourself up. And also, everything within this chart is going to be triggering a lot of people. I want to say 68, 78% of the population is going to want to go out fighting and swinging when that's the very opposite of what they should be doing. This energy to fight, to push, to accomplish, to achieve is stemmed by this new moon with this feeling, this, ener this energetic feeling and reminder or this sig signaling that's happening within your life that says, listen, you are being called to be a leader in your life. You're being called to follow your feelings. You're being called to set intention. You're, be you're being called to set things into motion. Mars is currently moving through the sign of Aries right now. But also Mars is squaring off with Mercury. Mars was just conjunct Chiron. Chiron is the wounded healer. Chiron is currently retrograde in the sign of Aries. And then we also have these major planets, these major power planets that are retrograde right now. Everything wants to be gung-ho. Everything wants to initiate change, especially Mercury being in Cancer, the new moon being in Cancer. Everyone likes to focus on the idea that Aries is the game-changing planet or the game-changing sign within the zodiac when Cancer truly is about initiating major massive change and we'll also we'll definitely take that leap of faith we'll definitely do whatever it takes and pull its power from its feelings and its emotions but it also needs time to kind of withdraw from the rest of the world that's where saturn's boundary comes up and says leave cancer energy alone right now she needs time to heal or he needs time to nur nurture himself or he needs rest or she needs a hug or whatever it is Look for your moon sign to see how best you can nurture and nourish yourself before, during, and after, right after the new moon. And you will see where you're gonna be pulling all of your power from. The more that you give to yourself in the way that your moon sign is, is asking you to give to yourself, the more I guarantee you that you will gain, the more clarity that is that you will, you will receive the more prophecies and visions. Every single one of us has an intuition. Every single one of us has gifts. Some of us have different types of gifts and some of us have varying strengths of intuition. 
So, but use whatever gifts you're given and do your best to be compassionate and kind and considerate with yourself as you are, you know, going along this journey and being inspired by the divine. Nothing is out of order. I know that a lot of things seem chaotic, but it's only chaotic because it's your perception of how you think things should be and it's not what you're normally accustomed to. But chaos in the eyes of the universe and chaos in the eyes of the divine is divine order and divine rearrangement that is there set in place into motion for our highest and greatest good every single one of us. So instead of getting intimidated by the chaos, root yourself in the divine's majesty and magic and pull from that place. Give to yourself in the way that you need it the most and you will be surprised how much healing can occur, but also what you would be able to do with your life, with your purpose, with your relationships and what you're um, able to manifest. That's the other thing too, is that as I'm looking at the chart, the part of fortune is following the sign of Libra. Libra is the sign of relationships and partnerships. It's about harmony and having others working with you, beside you, and you not doing it all alone. These are some things that you guys are absolutely, absolutely going to be manifesting within your lives, and I see you guys manifesting. This is a new moon for setting intention for family, relationships, um, leadership, um, careers that are purpose-filled, or a home. Those are things that you want to focus on. Pull, pull and set intention for things that empower you. So some of the things that it is that I'm seeing as far as uh, what you, you can set intention for, and I'm very careful about telling you guys specifically what you should be setting intention for for this new moon because I really want to encourage you to spend the time with yourself, with your guides, with the universe, with the divine. It's not something that should be rushed. Cancer and Capricorn energies, they're not notoriously known for being um, super slow, not cancer so much, but you do need to take your time with your feelings and feel it out. There's this emphasis and the focus on the stomach, of course, because cancer energy, but it's what you are being able to suckle from, so to speak. So basically what that means is that, and that I said this maybe six months ago, I think, which is be very careful about what you're consuming, what you're allowing in, what you say yes to, what you should be saying no to, why you keep saying no to things when you should be saying yes to them. Wow, you guys, look. We have six of cups here. We have the lover's card. We have three of wands reversed. Now, this really to me is bringing me to the part of fortune and also the energy of the cancer new moon which is where do i belong who is it's not just relationships but it's like where do i belong where is my space in this world where am i called to go and i i believe that the universe is speaking as clearly as it can to you mercury is sitting in the sign of cancer mercury rules communication and messages it could be something that is hard for you to hear, but be open to you receiving it regardless. What I'm seeing that you guys set intention for is the ability to have faith and to have peace in a world that's rapidly changing. What I'm seeing you set intention for, what you I think that you guys should, should ask for, more specific material things, I'll go into that next, but for right now on a spiritual level, I'm said I think that you guys should ask for comfort in again these these rapid changes. I'm I think that you guys should set for set intention for comfort and not knowing the outcome but being excited for it or a feeling of excitement to help you to prepare for what is to come without you getting panicked by it. I'm I think that you should set intention for the universe to give you and pull you to the place that is that you belong and that it be effortless, an effortless journey to help you to get there. I think that you should set intention for your ability to know exactly what it is that you want and your ability and your strength, emotional strength, in order to get that for yourself, build it for yourself, or feel it for yourself. Sometimes it's not so much where you have to go as much as it's what you have to be or what you have to do. I'm, I'm, I think that you should set intention for that strength, that clarity, that know-how, that inner know-how. I think that you should set intention for comfort, support, resources. You should set intention for family, what you want your family to look like, what you want your day-to-day -day life with your family or your support system or your tribe to feel like. Maybe you have been doing a lot of things on your own or maybe your tribe is not 
thriving or your family's not thriving so when you go and see them you walk away feeling powerless because you can't give to them more i think that you should set intention for their abundance their security their generosity their compassion their love their blessings there really is this space of the other i think you should set intention that you you actually be happy for others and that you get inspired by their success their love their triumphs their um challenges that they've experienced that they've turned into rewards and i also think that you should set intention for those things for yourself as well um those are just a few things that come off the top of my head but more specifically you guys family love emotional healing support partnership companionship the star card just jumped out that's also connects to um relationships some of you guys have been really trying to link up with or build with people from your past or you have an inability to be vulnerable and to share your feelings with someone from your past or someone is having a hard time sharing their feelings with you because it makes them feel very exposed or raw. There's certain beliefs and certain mindsets from your childhood, from you growing up, even in your young adulthood, things that you have learned survival mechanisms that you have taken on that it's time for you to let go of that and i think that you should set intention for this new earth this new vision this new prophecy this new vision that is that you are the universe wants to give to you now to promote healing and purpose and divine order over your life so it's not just you going it your way only from from now on it shouldn't be cancer is one of those signs that loves family but will also take on this massive burden all on its own and not share it with other people now i can hear you guys saying well jess what if i'm a libra what if i'm a scorpio what if i'm an aquarius does this apply to me uh, it absolutely does cancer rules something within your chart so you want to look to see where this new moon is occurring because those are the issues in that house that specifically it's that specific area of your life where this energy will manifest and that's where this major revelation is happening this is the judgment card this is the experiences that you've learned up until this point how they served a purpose and they're reawakening so that you can see it from a new life a new light so you can see it in a new way so that it can be regenerated reformed is the word that just came through renewed in some way especially with the six of cups here this is a connection to things of the past this could be past life memories or past life experiences that you're dealing with in this life now that you are i don't want to say a victim of but you almost feel like a victim and those things are i'm setting i think that you should set intention that you heal those aspects or you call in healing for yourself it's so funny because not to do some self-promotion here but i've been working with this banished candle this dark banished candle this is one of my candles found within my apothecary it's fixed for me for my clients hold on a second okay i was called to pull this candle and i'm also feeling a, a need to share this with you guys if you want to fix candle for me or you want to fix it yourself um you know get a candle like a seven day candle like this and fix it with if you know how to if you know how to fix candles by all means go ahead and do it but this one is fixed by me for me and i also fix them for my clients but i was really drawn to the banished candle and i'm drawn to the banished candle now even though this is a new moon and the reason why is because there's aspects of yourself anger or sadness anger is one of those feelings that it doesn't just happen all by itself it's always connected to a feeling of sadness or disappointment or loss or abandonment or whatever and that's why you get angry you don't just get angry to be angry something happened so um that even though this new moon is coming through and wants to create newness for you new life new energy new experiences new intentions new manifestations there's still this like <clears throat> healing that needs to occur don't be afraid of the color black i'm wearing black i have this black candle and the energy of black is not a bad thing it gives you the space the void the womb to heal yourself in and to remove anything that could be toxic training or hold you back in any way shape or form and while it's doing that 
it, even the new moon is black, it's dark. It creates a new space, a void for new life to be created because there's not nothing there, but there's a space for something to be there. And that's how the universe works is that it'll say, okay, there could be something created here. Address these issues, don't run from them, don't hide, hide from them, don't fill them up and stuff yourself or your life with things that are meaningless. We want you to feel what is it you're feeling banish it release it you know give it up to the universe and as you're doing that you're creating a vacuum you're creating a hole for you to to have clarity comfort precision in your intention so that you can manifest and then materialize exactly what it is that you've been wanting all of this time and it's not an illusion it's something that you really want it's something that is really healing it's something that you can really benefit from it's something that you will really enjoy, that you will really love, and that you will spend an eternity being grateful that you were the one to be able to receive it. That's what it is I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that this video makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I do check them. I do read them. I can't respond to everybody, but I do the best that I can. If you want to check me out or see my services that I offer, my apothecary, my um, fixed candles or resources, anything like that, you can check BahadiLife.com. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at BahadiLife. Um, and if you have any questions for me or if you want to reserve the Cancer Intentional Oil, the links for that will be down below. It's a custom um, intentional candle, I'm sorry, oil um, at the time of the Cancer cancer new moon again that's going to be the july 20th that i'll be working during the day probably at night though because that's kind of how i work my magic but it's pretty much a custom oil that you can use in order to set intention and you can bring hold that energy anytime that is that you want to use it and work with it this is the capricorn um recent full moon that I'm still working with that I still love. I put a drop of it on things that it is that I want to, like deals, contracts, certain relationships, things that it is that I want to seal and secure because that's at that time, that's what that, um, that's what was going on in the planets. So they are one of a kind, they are custom and they are made for my clients by me. So I hope that makes sense you guys. Um, until then, thank you so much for watching. I want to invite you to subscribe to subscribe feel free to share with all of your friends i appreciate it more than you know your shares your comments and you the word of mouth it's really been everything it's been a game changer it's changed my life and you changing my life is helping me change yours so i appreciate it i have infinite gratitude for you until then i'll see you in my next video bye